Aloha, I'm Cheryl Hamilton, and today I wanna to show you how to make this pretty tissue box cover. So there's what it looks like. And um, these can be just taken off when your tissues are done and you can put it up, plop it on the top of another one. Um, they're really cute to decorate your bathroom or other rooms, and they also make really pretty gifts. And here's another one that we've made and they're really pretty simple. So stay tuned and um, I hope that you are inspired to make some at home. You're gonna start with two pieces of cardstock. I'm using So Saffron and you cut them at five and an eighth by nine and a half. And then you're gonna score both of them at um, one half inch and then at five inches. So I'm gonna fold them first on the score lines. And then I'm gonna place some strong adhesive on that little half inch flap here. And um, you could use tear and tape. You could use Tombow, but it's kind of messy and you have to hold it for a minute. So I would do tear and tape or else right now I'm gonna use Stamp and Seal Plus and show you how to put it on. The key with this is use a really light touch. You don't wanna press hard or it's gonna make the adhesive stick to the top and it's gonna get gunked up. And um, so you press really softly, go straight down. When you're almost at the end, you push, <laughs> you um, tilt it to where it's up towards you and you keep going and it cuts off. Okay, otherwise you might have this long string of it. So again, a light touch, you just run it down and then pull it towards you like that. And I missed a spot. Okay, um, then you're gonna glue the box together. Just make sure. And so I'm putting it on this section. You wanna make sure the, the little flaps are on the inside. You don't want it on the outside because that wouldn't be very pretty. <laughs> okay, you put it, um, you fold it over. A lot of people wanna do it up in the air, but it's I think it's more difficult. If you've scored and um, cut correctly, it should match up. So you just place it down on your surface and before you, you just make sure it's lined up really well and then just press it down. So there I have my box. I'm gonna grab a tissue box to help me so I can, um, this'll help me so I'm not squishing my box. Um, next thing you do, let's see. For the box lid, you're starting with a piece of cardstock that is cut six and nine sixteenths square. And the reason it has such a strange measurement instead of six and a half is you, I just needed a, a tiny bit bigger so that it would fit over um, as a lid over my box. And um, then I scored one inch down all the sides. Now, first I wanna cut an opening with the um, layering ovals and I've chosen the oval that is three inches wide on the cut. So on, if you measure from um, the width here, it's three inches. Okay, so I really like my new cut and emboss machine um, because it's really simple. If you look at, um, if you look at the number one plate, it tells you how to do everything. So this is place the die cutting edge down. I need one, two, three, three. So it's, I like the way it's visual like that because I don't have to even think about it. Now to, um, if I put it in like this, it's gonna squish up the edges and um, wreck my top. So I'm just folding down one of the folds and I'm gonna try to center my oval and then top with um, one more plate. I think that looks good. Okay, cutting it out. Okay, 
Okay, now keep this um, little oval here because you might want to use it to decorate. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do with this um, lid is cut the edges or cut around the four corners. So um, can you see it is scored, which is hard for you to see, um, but I'm going to cut four spots here. One, two, three, oops, four. And then um, if you want to, that's good enough. You can make a lid here, fold it and put it together. But I, if you want to be a little more particular about it, cut um, wherever you cut, just cut a little sliver off. And then I like to even cut a sliver on the edge. So it makes this nice skinnier tab. It's nothing's gonna show. Okay, now you're ready to put a little bit of tape on. Um, I'll use my stamp and seal again, seal plus because I like to use the heavy duty one for boxes. Okay, so just, um, you can score it real quick. I should have done this before the adhesive. Those are done. Okay, so just put them together, doing the um, little flaps on the inside so they don't show. Okay, and I add, let me make sure it fits before I do everything. Yeah, it fits nice and snugly. So I'm gonna just put a little Tombow on so that every time I lift it off, um, it's together and the lid just doesn't come apart. So I'm just putting a little line on and putting it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna press a little bit like that along the edges just to try to stick the top to my box okay um, for the very top the one that I texture and decorate I've cut a four and a quarter inch square of cardstock and I'm going to use um, the layering ovals um, the one that's a bit smaller so this one has a two and three quarter inch wide cut. Just gonna cut that first. Okay. And then I'd like to texture it so Again, I'm going to look at this thing, the texture, I'm using a um, painted texture 3D, so this is a deep, a deeper one, and so this, this part tells you embossing folders, this first diagram is for the standard embossing folders, the second diagram is using with 3D, um, so I just need one four, that's it, so this is number one, and Here's number four. Okay, so um, let me put my paper in here. You wanna put the folded edge going first as you put it through there. Let me see, one, four, yeah, four's on top. So there's what it's going to look like. I like to emboss after I do the oval cut because otherwise I think when I when I would run it through and do the cut it might squish down some of this pretty embossing. One thing I should mention is these um, 
these ovals are retiring in like um, very soon, like May 3rd. And if you don't have them, just, I know you can use something else. Um, you know, find another, um, something else that has a pretty opening that's around this size and just a different shape. And the key thing is this first opening is a little bit bigger than the decorative one because you want you don't want to see that one underneath. So just find something for this and then um, I know there's going to be tons of dies out there that you guys can use. Okay, um, let me see. I guess I'm ready to glue this on. And just kind of center it. Now, now we get the fun part. We got all our papers and um, get to decorate. So for the for the designer series papers, what I've done is where are they? Okay, so. The sides are cut four inches for the up and down part, and they're a little bit wider. So they're four by four and a half for all these edges. So be careful if it has an up and down that you're doing the four inches that way and four and a half inches wide. Um, then I've cut four um, of these little strips to go on the top here. And um, those are Oh, sorry, I'm just looking for it. Um, four and a quarter by three quarter inches. I glue all these down. Okay, so I'm done um, putting the paper on my box and now I just, I'm gonna add a few embellishments, but I wanna do something pretty around the um, opening here. So I'm, let me think which ones. Okay, I'm gonna take a scallop. Let me see how big this is. Um, the opening part is about, three and a quarter, and I'm taking the same um, oval that I just used for the lid, which was two and three quarters. I'm gonna put them on in, in my Stampin' Emboss machine. What is it again? One, two, three, three. Um, okay. I decided just to do Bermuda Bay. I thought that would be pretty. So I'm trying to get them there. That looks pretty good. Okay. So that cuts out a little scallop decoration for the top. Sticking it down with Tombow. I'm just gonna add a few butterflies. Can it, the fun part is just use all your stuff and, um, where's that going? Okay, I think it would be kind of cool adding this, and this was cut out of that um, butterfly bio paper that's gone now, sorry, but you guys will be able to 
um, use your butterfly brilliance and um, there's so many beautiful butterflies you can cut out then it's kind of endless I'm gonna pop it up just a bit and feel free to keep embellishing do do all four sides or whatever you want it's really fun but for this video I'm just doing the front and the top Okay, so it's popped up a bit and I just want a little bit, I want to be able to bend a little bit. And I'm gonna do a couple of things on the top. I just have to figure out what I like. I like all of them, I don't know. Let's do those, that's pretty. So I'm gonna grab my glue dots and um, if you, the way I use my glue dots is to press down on the dot, but this, these are so delicate, so don't just rip it off, be a little bit careful taking it off. Bend it up a little bit, and I'm gonna use another for this one. There you go. Um, Where's my embellishments? Probably, my big shot's probably on them. Yes, it is. Okay, so the last thing I'm doing, I'm gonna add a few of these um, butterfly gems that are retiring, but they're so cute. I'm trying to think what color I want. I'll do blues. And just a couple of um, things on my butterfly. These are called opal rounds. So I'll use a big one for the butterfly. It's a little bit bigger. These are pretty and sparkly. And I'll use a smaller one for this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> so I hope you guys try to make one of these at home. They're really... Um, I hope this video helps you and that you have fun making them. Okay, have a great week and thanks for watching. Aloha.